Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to recreate uh, this website here. We're going to create a car with moving wheels and a moving background uh, to simulate a car moving through a city. Um, and this is going to be fairly quick, and it, this actually doesn't take um, that many widgets to recreate. We're going to be using the Muse Motion 2 widget, the Shake 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 widget, and the Font Smoother widget. So. Here we're using the, the shake 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 widget. You can kind of tell the car is shaking a little bit and I wanted to simulate like a, a really powerful car kind of like shaking. And then for the wheels here, we're using the Muse Motion 2 widget and then the moving background as well. We're using the Muse Motion 2 widget found at museforyoushop.com. So here is the website in Adobe Muse and I'll just showcase. So we have five widgets here to recreate this website. Um, so I'll go ahead and jump right into it. So I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Um, so here we have a blank site, and actually the first thing I want to do is open Adobe Illustrator. So I've downloaded a few images from Adobe Stock, so I downloaded this car and this image of a city in the background. So I'll double click on the car image to open in Adobe Illustrator, and here I'll just delete the background, and I'll delete these words, Custom Classic and this bottom part here so we just have the car so now i kind of want to take the car apart a little bit um, now i'm not really a mechanic i'm not that great with cars but uh, here we can take it apart just so we can use the different elements um, with the different widgets and to simulate a car moving so here what i want to do is take the tires first so i'm going to select both of these tires and just move them down and then we want to grab this back part here so i'm going to select this part and kind of this upper part here within the the car and just move it up so now we have this part and I didn't grab this part here so there we go looks good so we have the car the body of the car we have the wheels and we have this back part and now here for the wheels I'm going to ungroup these as well and this will make more sense as I'm kind of going through it but I'm going to ungroup the wheels because there's a caliper here in the back and I want to remove that caliper so that the caliper doesn't move with the wheel um, because the caliper usually doesn't move with the wheel. At least I don't think it does. Again, I'm not really a car person, but uh, I think that usually stays fixed. Um, so here I'll just select this wheel and I'll hit Command C to copy. I'll go into Adobe Muse. I'll hit Command V to paste. And there we have the wheel. And then I'll copy this caliper here and I'll go into Muse and paste. And then I want to uh, arrange and send the caliper to the back. And I want to align these together. So I'll go to the align section, align in the middle, and align horizontally. I um, mean, it's okay that I align to the, to the website here. I can just move it around. Um, and then I'll copy this tire. I think they're the same, but just for um, demonstration purposes, I'll select that tire and place it there. And this, this uh, caliper here and paste it as well. Uh, when I was first doing this, this caliper kind of gets cut off, so I actually ended up using this one here. And I'll paste in there. All right, looks good. I'll right click. Yeah, right. Let me do that one more time. Yeah, copy. Go into Muse and paste. All right, looks good. So I'll right click, arrange, and send to back. And I'll place that right in there. And then I'll align. And let me align to selection rather than content area. So they'll just align to themselves here. And that's by going to align to um, and align to selection instead of align to content area. Uh, so there I have the two wheels with the caliper in the back. And now I will paste this section here. I'm going to grab this whole section together um, because we, we don't really need to animate this. This is only so we can put the tires in front of this and then the car um, in front of it. And that'll make more sense in a second. Yeah, did I copy that right? Yeah, it looks good. So, okay. So I'll right click, arrange, send to back. And then we can put that somewhat like that. And I'll just move this here, something like that. And now I'll place in the body of the car, which is right here. So I'll select it, hit Command, yeah, Command C to copy. And then, yeah, so I'll select it, yeah, Command C, then go into Muse, and then Command V to paste. All right, so there we have the body of the car. And let me grab this. I'll place that right behind there. That looks good. And then we can place the tires right there. And that actually fits perfect. 
there. So the car is on top of the tire and the tire is on top of that black part there. So it looks like the wheel is inside the body of the car. All right, just like that, perfect. So there we have the car and now I can right click and group and I'm going to change the size of this car. So I'm gonna to go to resize and I'm gonna say for the width, 800, just like that. So now the car is a bit smaller, it fits nicely in there. So that's all we have to do with the car. We've copied the tires and the body of the car and that back part um, where, where the tires go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in the Muse Motion 2 widget so we can have the wheels rotate in the car. So I'll go to my library panel, yeah, library panel here, and I'll type in MM2, which is short for Muse Motion 2. I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2 at first, place it right at the top, and then I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2 2D transformations, just like that. So now we have the widget right in there. And before I work with the widget, I'm gonna assign the graphic style name Motion 1 um, that's in the widget, because here we see the widget graphic style name is Motion 1. So we wanna apply that graphic style name to both of these tires. So I'll click on this tire here, and I have it selected, and then I'll go to my graphic styles panel. If you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles here. And the same with the library, you can go to window and click on library if you don't see the library panel to, to bring in the widget. Um, so there I've selected the tire and I'll select here this little icon that looks like a piece of paper that says create a new style from the attributes applied. So I'll click there, I'll double click on style and I'll call this motion one. All right, and then I'll apply, actually we'll just do it for this first one here. And then I'll go into the widget and to make the wheel rotate, we'll just go to the rotate option, select rotate, enable rotate, and I'll say rotate to 360 degrees. And then for the easing option, I'll say linear. And then for easing type, I'll say ease none. And this will allow the tire to look like it's continuously rotating. If it had an easing, the tire would look like it's slowing down and then repeat. And we don't want it to do that. We just want it to look like it's a, it's just rotating uh, infinitely. Um, and I can probably demonstrate that and I might do that in a second. I'll change some of these options just to show you more of a clear example. Um, and then I don't want it to enable reverse play. So I don't want the tire to go forward and then go back. So I'll uncheck enable reverse play. And that's basically, I do want it to repeat infinitely. So I have negative one set here. And the time scale, we can change this if we wanted the tire to go faster. So here I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And we can see that the tire is rotating, looks good. And that caliper in the back is not moving. All right, so there we have it. We've just made this tire rotate and it's infin infinitely rotating. So let's say I was to have an easing to the tire. I'll go to rotate and let's say I have ease, ease out and I'll preview just like so. It'll go like that. And actually it'll continue rotating um, because the easing, um, the, the easing function, which is the easing option is linear. Um, so actually the easing type doesn't matter too much, but I like to say ease none. So there's no, not even a little bit of easing within uh, the movement. But let's say I were to say like power one and then ease out, we would see it would have kind of not a continuous motion there it stops a little bit and then it continues because there's a bit of an easing uh, to, to the tire. So by setting it to linear, you can ensure that it continues to uh, rotate uh, infinitely without any stopping. So I'll say linear and ease none. So there we go and the tire will continuously rotate, perfect. All right, so we've done that and I'll close these tabs here. And all I have to do to make this tire rotate is assign, is click on this tire and assign motion one to this element as well. So now both tires will, will move in a circle. So we have both tires moving there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is add some scenery in the background and have the scenery move uh, with the Muse Motion 2 widget as well. So I also downloaded some uh, a scenery background here from Adobe Stock. So I'll double click and I'll select this entire image by, hold, by selecting Command A and then I'll say Command C to copy. Then I'll go back into Muse and I'll hit Command V to paste, just like that. And I, I actually don't mind that it's so large because I just, I'll just move it up here. I'll say right click, arrange, send to back, and we'll place it, let me lock it first. I'll hit Command L to lock, or you can go to object and lock. And here I'll just move the car down a bit, like so. Yeah, it looks good there. Okay, so let me move this down here. 
So I just have to kind of move things around to see how I want it to want it positioned. And we also want to make sure that we can see it. So let me look at the size. Yeah, that's a bit large. So let's let's change the size of the background. So let's say 1500 just like this. All right, that's a bit better. I can place it there. And what I'm doing is essentially just moving it around so when let's say a user previews the browser or checks out the, the website that the car will be uh, far enough up that they can see it and so as we can see the car is down too much so we want to move the car up so let me zoom in a little bit here and we want to move it up maybe to about to about there and then we'll move up the background so that the car is on the street something like that all right so I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there we go. So that's pretty good. So we can see the car, the browser window isn't too large, and the car is right there. And then we have the buildings in the back. So they're a bit cut off at the top, but that's okay. Still, still looks good. And then I'll move this over to the left a little bit. All right, and what I'm gonna do, and this is gonna be kinda cool, I'm gonna hit Command-C to copy, and then Command-V to paste. And I'm going to have two side by side and you'll see why this is interesting in a second. And let me right click, arrange, send to back. And then we have two of these image, images side by side. So what I want to do is assign motion two to these backgrounds. So I'll click on the first background. I'll go to graphic styles, create a new graphic style, and I'll say motion two. And then for this one, the same thing, I'll assign motion two to this one. So these will move to the left. Um, and let me create the, the widget so it's easier to explain. So I'll just, and let me move this over here too as well so we can see these widgets. I'll copy this first 2D transformations, just like this. And then I'll open the graphic style panel. And then I don't want it to rotate, so I'll, I'll uncheck rotate. Uh, but I do want it to translate X. So X it moves, uh, means it's moving on the, on the X axis, which is horizontal. So I want it to move to the left, so I'm gonna enter in a negative value. So I'm gonna say negative 1500. I want it to move the entire width of this image. So it's gonna move negative 1500. So the entire width of this image is gonna move to the left. And the same for this one, it's gonna move to the left and then it's gonna repeat. So this is where it gets interesting. So we're gonna have the repeat to negative one. It's gonna infinitely repeat. We don't want enable reverse play, so that's, that's good there. Um, and that's basically it. So we've set the translate X to negative 1500 and we want it to be linear so it doesn't slow down and no easing. So essentially what's gonna happen is both of these are gonna move negative 1500 pixels to, to the left and then it's gonna restart. So it's gonna, they're all gonna go back to the same position and then again, go negative 1500 pixels to the, to the left. So I'll go to file, preview page and browser and we'll just take a look and see how this looks here and there's no movement. So let's see why that is. Oh, it's because here um, we didn't change it to motion two. So we have to change the graphic style name here to motion two because the graphic style name to these elements is motion two. Oh, and we also have to enable translate X here. So we have to make sure that that's checked, enable translate X. All right, so again, I'll go to file, preview page and browser. And there it goes. It's moving really fast. I actually don't want it to move that fast. That's kind of dizzying. So we're gonna change the duration of the translate X to let's say six seconds. So within six seconds, it's gonna move. So it'll be a bit slower. All right, there we go. Perfect. So we did notice in the, in the beginning, we have that white space there. So to change that, we just have to move both of these to the left so there's enough space at the beginning so that we don't see that white space and then we see see it moving to the left and there we have the moving building so picture the buildings moving to the left uh, negative 1500 and once it gets to the end it repeats so it's like they're all resetting again but because there's enough um, the, the movement goes off of the web browser you don't really notice a difference so it's kind of a cool effect there yeah. And we can make the tires go faster. So if we go into the widget, the first widget, I can change the time scale here to two to make the tires go faster. And let me bring this in a little bit because we did notice a white space there. 
So I'll preview in the browser. And there we go. So that's essentially it for creating a, a moving car in Adobe Muse with the Muse Motion 2 widget. Looks good. Nice. And if you have any questions about the moving background, let me know. I'm not sure if I explained that uh, perfectly. So essentially what is happening is they're both moving all the way to the left and then it resets on, um, on the website. Okay, so I'll add custom, custom classic here. I kind of got that from the, um, the car graphic. So I'll, I've created custom classic here and then I'll pick a font here and we'll just make it really large and I'll center it and change some of the, uh, the tracking here. Is it leading the tracking? Yep. We'll say eight and we'll add that here in the center. So I'll say align center, line to content area, center it. Perfect. And then I'll make the white here, uh, the same colors here. So I'll go to browser fill, select the sample color tool, sample that purple and perfect. And then I'll bring in the font smoother. I'll bring in the font smoother light, just like that for the font. And then I'll bring in the, um, the horizontal scroll disabler so we don't have the scroll bar here. So here I'll go into my library panel and I'll type in horizontal, and here we have the horizontal scroll disabler, just like that. Perfect. All right, so one more time, I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And there we go. We have the moving car animation. Um, if you did want it to be, you know, if you wanted more space here, I mean, you could drag it out, and let's see if it cuts off. Yeah, it cuts off a little bit. So you can make the background wider or bigger so that on larger screens, it can continue um, to look good there. But if we have the, the browser like this, um, it doesn't cut off on the ends. And that's just playing around with the width of the background so that on bigger screens, it continuously um, keeps moving. All right, perfect. So that's it for creating a moving car in Adobe Muse using the Muse Motion 2 widget. Oh, and one last thing that I didn't uh, actually do, we wanna make this car shake a little bit too, so let me right click, ungroup. I'll click on the car, I'll go to the library panel, and I'll type in shake, and I'll bring in the shake, shake, shake widget right here. And we want it to shake a little bit, not a lot. And then I'll click on the car, the body of the car, go to graphic styles, create a new graphic style, and say shake one. All right, because that's the graphic style name that's in the Shake, Shake, Shake widget here. So there we go. So I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And one more time. And there we have the moving car. We can see it's shaking a little bit. And the tires are moving, and the background is moving as well. So that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, to get access to the Muse Motion 2 widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com. And here you can click on the pop-up. And here you can click Subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with. 439 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal you can click here and subscribe with PayPal uh, The Muse Motion 2 widget is right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with 439 a year and here there's more preview pages and, and videos on the Muse Motion 2 widget uh, the shake 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 widget and the font smoother and the horizontal scroll disabler are also in the subscription and in the shop if you wanted to check those out as well. So here I'll click on the Muse Motion 2 widget. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.